Hey guys and welcome back to my frag movie tutorial series where I teach you guys how to make frag movies from what I've learnt over the past two and a half years of making movies. So I believe we are at part four of the series and that's when we start editing things with programs so this is where the excitement begins so if you haven't seen my series already uh, you know I've gone through you know the introduction planning you know recording cinematography those is what I've gone through now we're up to editing and today I am going to be going through Sony Vegas Pro uh, as my program because that was the first program that I learned to use and I believe that it is the simplest one to use. Um, the others that you might want to use is Adobe Premiere um, Pro. I'm not too familiar with it. I tried it like a few years ago but I never got used to it so um, I just stuck with Sony Vegas. And uh, in another tutorial in the future I'll go through um, Adobe After Effects. But right now we've got Sony Vegas Pro. Um, you know, get it wherever you want. I'm not going to say where you have to get it. You know how most people get it. Bleep! That's uh, just to make... I said something illegal just then. Um, but okay, so first off, what you want to do is once you've recorded all your footage, uh, after I taught you how to record, you want to have it all stockpiled in like a folder for ready access. Um, this is pretty messy right now. I just got things lying everywhere. But like I said, I'm going to be continuing on with that one clip that I recorded, you know, before. So you know, you get some sort of continuity going on. So once you've got your clip, all you need to do is, uh, yeah, just drag your clips into Sony Vegas. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be going through the basic layout of uh, Sony Vegas right here. Um, this window here, it's going to be different size, like when it's default, but this window here is going to be holding your um, project media, as in so any you know videos or music or images that you have that you're going to be using in uh, the project. It's just going to all be in there, um, and then you got just a couple of these keys up here, in which I'll go through a bit later. But uh, maybe the first thing that um, everyone might want to set up is this button here is a uh, you can go it's properties so alt enter and you get the properties window so what did we go through before I said that the resolution in which people usually use is 1280 by 720 so you want that going on um, frame rate um, like I said before I actually got my NTSC and my PAL wrong but uh, you can set it to 30 FPS 50 60 whatever um, I'm just going to be doing 30 basic uh, thing to use. Field order, you want none, progressive scan. Uh, this has got something to do with uh, a lot of the scan lines in which you see uh, might happen when uh, you, you make a movie. So, you know, uh, this is what I believe, but the images, uh, you know, have a lot of lined, a lot of lines of data, and, you know, in, you can actually just have you know the upper so upper field so I think that's like you know, every two if you think of it as like you know a slice like a bunch of slices upper field would be you know the first slice third fifth all those you know odd ones and then lower will be two four you know the bottom ones that is just probably the stupidest most uneducated explanation of it but what you want is none progressive scan which means it includes everything so whenever you see a movie that has, you know, kind of liney effect, you know, they probably had one of those upper fields things going on. Or the pixel aspect ratio, you know, you just want a one-to-one -one pixel. I mean, well, what other kind of pixel are you going to be using? Um, output rotation, just leave that normal. Pixel format, um, highest, uh, why it's pretty good. Um, comp uh, comp positing gamma leaving it at default rendering quality why not best you know if we're making a good movie have it at best 
Motion blur type? Uh, I choose Gaussian. I'm not sure why. I'm not even sure how that's pronounced. And uh, yeah, so it's that those fields again before, so the deinterlaced method. I just have none. You know, uh, just if you have these uh, settings, start new projects with start all new projects with these settings. If you're happy with that, uh, you can get that going. Audio, yeah, it's default's good, and uh, that's that's pretty much good. So from here, you can't really screw up much more. I mean, you got, you know, the project is set at what you know most movies are made at. So whatever you do now, it's gonna turn out pretty good. So you know, bam, that's our project setting right now. So what do we do? We gotta drag in our footage. So I'm grabbing this clip in. Just chucking it into this project thing right here, and uh, with these large, large files, uh, you might want to wait, you know, a bit because you know Sony Vegas kind of needs to, uh, you know, process it a bit. Um, otherwise, you go import media, go to that same, you know, folder, and uh, just input another one. It's my first smooth. Or you can just see it's got this uh, yeah, kind of a waiting period in which the the bigger the clip, the longer Sony Vegas has to kind of process it and you know process the music with the footage and all that. So once you dragged in all your footage, you know I've got all three of that. Um, the main thing that you know with dragging in footage or you importing footage into Sony Vegas is that Sony Vegas will not at times work with mp4 files and does not work at all with mkv files so we're only working with avis um, mp3 work so I'm putting in my song right here waves work and that's all good so keep your footage with avi if you want to work with some mkvs if you're making you know anime music videos which I do sometimes I'll be going through that a bit later and you know, just a random tutorial or if you've got footage from, you know, you download it somewhere and it's an MP4 and when you drag it in, sometimes, you know, the footage just turns out black. So, um, I'll also teach you the same way in which you can use MP4s and MKVs later on, uh, yeah, after I do all these essential skills. So, um, right, we have all of our footage. Now, the first thing I like to do um, when I'm, you know, kind of planning my movie is that, you know, I got the song, you know, if I spend a lot of time and I get the song and I drag the song and this is what we get. Um, so this is kind of the layer, the audio layer. You can drag it up and down just to see the detail in, uh, you know, the audio waves, not that I read it or anything or understand, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, you can alter the audio by uh, the audio levels by volume here or you can actually do it on the fly by you know just you can see the wave going up and down if you just go to the top of the actual you know audio layer panel thing you actually have like the finger go up and then you, if you hold down on it you can actually drag down and you know you can alter it along the way so now we've got our audio. First thing I like to do is I like to find the beats in which I can sync the music to. So the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to have a lot of markers. Now what the markers are is just, you know, if you press M, you bookmark a specific time in the project line in which you know uh, Sony Vegas or you can remember and go back to and you know you can type in B1 you know uh, you don't have to type anything in but you know if you have specific you know lyrics or specific times in which you want something special to happen you press M and it comes up with a marker um, and you can drag this marker around if you want like so but now how do you work this with the music so what I like to do is right click, delete the marker, is that when you start the music, uh, you can start the music by pressing play or pressing space, 
and uh, while it's playing you can actually press M repeatedly every single time you hear like a cool beat in which you think you know you can sync it to so you know it's kind of a, a good way to start off and visualize you know what your movie is going to be like so you know right now I'm just going to be starting off and you know going straight away so here we go <laughs> You can see that I'm putting markers every single time the electric guitar, you know, it gets that heavy strum going. So, um, so what we got here is, you know, five good beats in which you could use, and uh, yeah, the song is if you you can read here, Dropkick Murphys. I'm shipping off to Boston, which uh, yeah, it's kind of a funky song. <laughs> But uh, I just wanted to choose a song that has heavy beats so you guys could, you know, follow along easily. Um, so once we have that, you know, we have our beats to, uh, you know, sync to. Easy, just probably the easiest way in which you can find sync points in your footage. So how do we start? What we do is we grab footage and we chuck it down into... Um, yeah, the project, whatever area, project area, and uh, as you can see here, whenever you drag, you know, one of your clips into the project area, you have the um, video file on top and the accompanying audio file attached to it, like so. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing is, since I'm going to be focusing on this small area right here. I'm going to be uh, either zooming in using this zoom tool, zoom tool, I think it's up here, or you can just scroll up on your mouse key and you got that. So, I've got my smooth here, my first smooth, and you know, like I said before in my FPS tutorial, is that you get this cool motion blur uh, since this is recorded at 240 FPS and the project is at 30 FPS, we actually get. 8 frames, frames blended into one frame of this project. So, um, if you just go through the smooth, um, you can see, you know, I did something kind of decent. But, you know, I got some, some places that you can actually sync to. So, you got the demo man detonating his sticky. You know, a lot of people like to uh, sync, you know, explosions and scatter guns or you know kills to you know sync points and because that's you know the basic way to do it but other people you know can really work with the audio and that's when things get amazing like when the syncing is not so obvious um so what we have is our first sync point and we got the demo detonation so how do we sync these two together what I do, usually do is go to the first marker it's really easy because all you do is click on you know the uh click on the line it automatically goes straight to that position which is you know the exact position in which you heard that sync point or that beat so you know it's pretty cool and then all I do is just drag along the footage until I see what I like to sync it to and uh, in this case just drag it to the right spot um, yep yeah, explosion so um, at this point, you got an explosion, and if you just listen to that through again, well, you can actually see it really well. Um, when you're previewing, <laughs> I'm just going to be going all over the place here pretty much because it's hard to structure a you know, tutorial in Sony Vegas. But when you uh, when you're watching your preview in this window here, right, um, it can be pretty slow. Because like I said, this is a 240 FPS uncompressed footage, so you know Sony Vegas can't handle running it completely smoothly. So um, I've got this is the preview quality bar right here. You got quite a few uh, you know options to go through. Um, you got the best quality there is, good quality, just you know so you can see the details and everything. But the preview quality is you know. Uh, what you probably want to be using if you're watching through things. So if you set that to auto, you know, you can see the quality takes a hit right there. But uh, you know, the lower the quality, the better it will stream. So you just have a half 